it is a kind of hopeful idea based on a kind of evolutionary idea that that you know when you look at at, at you know our existence on earth and and the last you know 100,000 years or so um um and you see the way evolution has changed uh, us um and you look at things like the ice age where in in geological time it was literally overnight that the ice age hit and and literally overnight you know hundreds of thousands of species went extinct and other you know hundreds of thousands of species adapted and adapted almost immediately in a in a very in very strange and curious ways they adapted to their environment and so i started thinking about well are we at one of those phases now where the world is changing and changing rapidly and can we as a species adapt to it and it sort of led me to the idea of what if there were those among us um, who had adapted or were the next or were representing the next evolutionary rung um, and uh, I, I also sort of like the idea of, of placing a kind of superhero idea on evolution as opposed to a supernatural occurrence um, you know falling falling into a vat of of radioactive material or getting bit by a radioactive uh, spider if I'm gonna posit this show as being taking place in the real world and that these people are ordinary people um, sometimes hyper-ordinary, very, very ordinary people, um, albeit more attractive than most of us, but that's just the nature of television. But still, they're, they're meant to be very ordinary people. And so if I was going to sell this package that this was happening in, a, in the real world, it felt like I wanted to anchor it in something that had a, at least a quasi-scientific anchor to it. Like the comic book aspects of it are really just the vehicle of telling, of telling the, the story. Uh, I mean, thematically, I was w much m more interested in, um, in making a, a statement about interconnectivity and about the importance of the world being, um, the world being s much smaller than we, especially in America, have always thought about it. And I think in a lot of ways this Heroes is a very much a product of a post 9-11 world um, where I think we woke up one day and realized that the world was much uh, smaller than we had thought. That what happens 10,000 miles away really does affect us and that we all are kind of connected to one another. Um, and I think a lot of where heroes came from was my trying to um, wrestle with th this feeling that I think m most people are feeling now uh, nowadays that something is out of whack in the world and something is that there's a kind of vibration that all of us are feeling that um, that something's got to give and I, I think uh, between global warming and terrorism and uh, you know, diminishing resources. We're all feeling that there's something out of balance, um, and so Heroes is a kind of wish fulfillment um, that we, as a species, could actually rise to an to the occasion to do something about these big global issues.